Have you ever wondered how the invisible hand of a drug epidemic can change the course of a nation? Today, we delve into the dark underbelly of the United States health crisis, the rising tide of the fentanyl epidemic. In the past few years, the fentanyl crisis has grown from a simmering issue to a full-blown epidemic. Back in 2018, Congress passed several bills to address the opioid crisis, resulting in a 4% decrease in overdose deaths. A small win, but a win nonetheless. However, as the COVID-19 pandemic swept across the globe in 2020, the United States saw a significant and frightening increase in drug overdose deaths. Over 93,000 deaths reported that year, primarily due to opioids, synthetic opioids, and psychostimulants. Fentanyl, a synthetic opioid, emerged as the main driver of overdose deaths. Emergency room visits for drug overdoses also rose by a staggering 45% in 2020. And in 2021, the situation worsened. The death rate rose in every age group, causing U.S. life expectancy to drop to 76.4 years. The pandemic has exacerbated trends of mixed drug use and increased potency of drugs. Efforts to curb overdoses have faced challenges, including legal battles over safe consumption sites. Amid all this, the focus is shifting towards harm reduction strategies and addressing the demand side of the illicit drug market. So where does this leave us? The fentanyl epidemic is not just a health crisis. It's a social crisis, an economic crisis, a human crisis. It's a problem that requires not just medical treatment, but also social, economic, and policy changes. The American Rescue Plan allocated $4 billion for substance abuse treatment and mental health services. Efforts to combat illicit drug manufacturing in China and Mexico, particularly of fentanyl, have shown some progress. But is this enough? This is where you come in. We all have a role to play in combating the fentanyl crisis. Whether it's supporting legislation for better drug education and prevention programs, advocating for more accessible treatment and rehabilitation services, or simply spreading awareness about the dangers of fentanyl and other synthetic opioids. It's time to act. It's time to turn the tide on the fentanyl epidemic, because if we don't, who will?